Hi, today's video is about cod liver oil and fish oil and acne. And the reason that I wanted to make this video is because these foods are being promoted as healthy and even being promoted for acne sufferers. I just got an email this morning. I used to subscribe to a lot of acne stuff because I used to suffer from acne before I went on my vegan diet. So I'm still receiving emails. Um, one of them is from absoluteacneinfo.com and this website promotes raw milk as well, which I'm quite skeptical of. So in this email that I received, it says, Hi, I have another product available for you to test out. I am giving away free sample bottles of our brand new cod liver oil. See benefits below. Cod liver oil is an outstanding product for a variety of health issues in addition to being a fantastic source of omega-3s including DHA and EPA. And um, it says um, nearer to the end of the email, Remember, our fantastic new cod liver oil product made from never frozen fish and using the proper ratios of vitamin A to vitamin D as recommended by the Western A Price Foundation. We can't wait to provide a super high quality product to everyone. Your participation in the test and review process will be an invaluable help. And uh, that, I just, I just think ew because <laughs> Um, I used to take cod liver oil when I was a child. My parents made my brother and I drink cod liver oil um, like a tablespoon every night to help us to have a stronger immune system and prevent us from having colds. And I just hated the taste. Like, I don't even know what's in it. Um, maybe the title is obvious, like oil from the liver of a cod but it tastes disgusting and I doubt that it actually has much benefit. So the benefits that are promoted by this company are that it has omega-3s, um, EPA and DHA, but if I wanted to get omega-3s, I could just um, have flax seeds or chia seeds ground it up and put it in a smoothie, like if I really wanted to have uh, more of it. But I think the best way is to just have a low-fat, high-carb vegan diet, high in fruits and vegetables, and that way your omega-3 to omega-6 ratios will already be balanced because you're not um, heaping on the oil, the nuts, and the seeds. So, yeah, cod liver oil is something that I would not recommend for anyone who has acne. Um, I remember also when I had acne that my dad would recommend me to take 10 capsules of fish oil a day and I did that for a while. I mean I didn't want to but I mean sometimes my dad <laughs> he suggests things and tries to make me do it. Um, so anyway I did it just to be obedient and just to see how it would go but I found that taking all these capsules of fish oil didn't make any difference to my skin. And it was only after going high fruit, low fat, high carb, vegan that I saw the real difference in my skin. It wasn't through taking any of these supplements. So um, for anyone who has acne, do research first. Don't, don't get scammed and don't go buying all these unnecessary supplements because Usually a change in diet and lifestyle will help your acne. So for me, um, what helps the most is having a lot of fiber, um, mainly from fresh fruit to like cleanse the colon and keeping the rest of my diet low fat and vegan. So I don't have any animal products. I, I minimize vegetable oils. So when I cook my own food, I, <clears throat> I don't use any vegetable oils. I don't eat that much avocado, nuts or seeds. The only seeds that I have would be flax seeds grounded up, but even that I only have them maybe every second or third day in a smoothie and I'd only use um, one or two teaspoons of it. Um, the other thing is to exercise. Um, it speeds up 
the process of healing because your body can then detoxify through your sweat and it just gets your lymph nodes um, flowing if you know what I mean so um, your skin is just one way of um, getting rid of toxins and that's why people get acne besides hormones and um, the other thing that I recommend is to not take the pill don't take antibiotics because those things are just covering up the problem they're not actually solving it um, also don't take Roaccutane because that's another way of just covering up the problem and not really solving the underlying issues um, I know people who have taken Roaccutane and while they see results I don't I don't think it's going to solve their real problems. Um, I think when you when someone gets acne, it's it's not just acne that's wrong with their body. I think it's a symptom of other things as well that could be wrong. And I was watching a video by Dr. Greger on nutritionfacts.org about acne and how that could be a symptom of other diseases. So I'll put the link in the description box if you want to check that out. But um, I definitely recommend eating a whole foods, plant-based diet in order to address the causes of acne and especially get rid of dairy. Um, I saw on this website that was promoting the cod liver oil that they promote raw milk. And I haven't done enough research on it to know whether that would actually cure acne, but from what I've watched and read so far, dairy seems to be a major culprit for the cause of acne and when people cut out the dairy it tends to make a lot of difference to their skin even if they don't do anything else um, to change their diet. Cutting out the dairy is a big factor. So yeah, I just wanted to make a video to warn people don't take fish oil for omega-3s. Not only does it not help but fish oil contains other nasty things like cholesterol, saturated fat, it's not just omega-3s that you're getting in the fish oil um, and also with cod liver oil like it's disgusting <laughs> um, I wouldn't take it for any health benefits I think just keeping your diet clean will be enough and you don't have to go taking lots of supplements like fish oil or cod liver oil to be healthy so yeah um, hopefully that was helpful um, I'll see you in my next video bye